we are looking at the Laplace transform. Uh, Laplace transform uh, teach functions of time and convert it to a complex variable x. Okay, uh, it has this notation. Let's take the notation. Uh, notation. Uh, the symbol is this equal to L of f of t. Okay, that's a symbol for, uh, for Laplace. And then we're going to look at the definition. Uh, definition. Uh, given uh, f of t, f as a function of t, and whereby t is greater than or equal to zero, uh, it's Laplace transform. If Laplace transform is the minus, is the minus the symbol Laplace. L of uh, f of t is equal to integer from 0 to infinity exponential x minus t f of t uh, dt and this equal to uh, limits as a tend to infinity from 0 to a uh, f of t uh, dt. So that's the definition for uh, for. So let's look at the tables of uh, Laplace transform. Okay, we have the f of t which is the function. Okay, we have the Laplace of the f of t. Okay, this symbol for Laplace which is also the same thing as L of what f of t. When you have f of t, Laplace of one is one over x. That's the first one, number one. That's the first one. Laplace of one, one over x. So, for example, now Laplace of ten, uh, Laplace of ten. Okay, that will give you what? That will give you um, uh, ten over what? Ten over x. The second one, Laplace of uh, exponential to eighty. It's very simple. That will be one over then x. Minus the attachment of the of the t. Minus. Then the third one, Laplace of uh, t to power n. This is your function, and the function in this case is t to power n. If Laplace now will be equal to what you have in the power of this, that will be n factorial all over n x um, n plus one. Okay. And Laplace of this. For example, now it will be equal to this power 2 factorial all over x2 plus 1, and that will be equal to 2 factorial over x3. Uh, okay, and in this case, now x is greater than, zero, uh, than a, uh, x is greater than 0 here. 4. Laplace of uh, sine bt. Your f of t is this, f of t is a uh, sine bt. Okay, it's Laplace is uh, for sine is always the attachment to that the coefficient of t that will be b over f squared plus b squared okay and let me quickly that plus of sine bt so what you have here will be on top then f squared plus what you have here, that will be square of that. For example, now Laplace of uh, sine uh, 40, for example, is going to be this attachment of t, that will be 4 over s squared, then this 4 square that, that will be 16, which means whatever s squared plus 16, which means that 16 is uh, 4 squared. Okay, that means you're having one of it here. Okay, so if you have Laplace of uh, sine sine 3t now for example it's going to be uh, t over s squared plus then you, you square this and that'll be nine okay so laplace over cos bt 
want to get it, if your f of t is this, and you want to get it it now plus, it's going to be whatever you have here, you have the double here, then plus the attachment of t is b, okay, and that will be b squared. For example, now you can have uh, Laplace of uh, cos 5t, for example. Okay, in this case, now it's going to be x over s squared plus the square of this. That's like 25. Okay, unlike for sine, sine always the, the attachment of the variable will be on the top. Okay, <coughs> over f squared, x squared plus b squared. Okay. Then the sixth one, Laplace of uh, this sine bt. If your f of t is this, and you want to find uh, its Laplace, um, it's going to be same also. The angle you have here, the attachment of t, that's a b, that will be b over x minus the attachment of the exponential okay that's minus a square then plus b square and the last one laplace of uh, e a t cos b t so that will be equal to in this case now it's going to be for cos it's going to be um x minus this attachment of, of that t okay all over x minus a all square okay then plus attachment of the t the coefficient of the coefficient of t which is what p square okay so whatever you have at the numerator must be here also so you have the multiple here okay so that's that but if it's sine this is for the form of sine okay that, the formula is what? Integral from zero to infinity. Uh, this. Okay. Uh, your f of t now, in this case now, is now one. The t. Okay. So, and if you do this, is equal to limit as n tend to infinity from zero to n. Of this, uh, the t. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, this uh, integral first, which will be equal to uh, integral of this of exponential. Let's do this one. Let's take it out. Uh, this one, uh, the t is equal to from zero to n. Integral of this will be its function s t. Then you divide by what? By the, uh, is it respect to t? By the attachment, the coefficient, coefficient of t, which is what? Minus what? Minus x. Okay, then you put your upper and lower band there. Okay, and this will give us uh, e minus xn over this, then minus, put one of zero there, which will be equal to what? We've done the upper, then the lower boundary now, which will be equal to e also minus uh, that will be zero. Don't have to waste it. So limits as n tends to infinity of what we've got in, which is uh, this function uh, e x n over minus x minus one over uh, minus minus here. That's plus. That's plus x. So if we take the limit, uh, this will just give you. Uh, 1 over x. So x is greater than 0. Okay? Because the limit of this, you know, uh, x times infinity, uh, that's a minus infinity. A minus infinity is what? Uh, is 0. So the limit of, uh, uh, limit of this fraction as n tends to infinity is equal to 0. Okay? Is equal to 0. Okay, so we just have, just have this, uh, this one there. So that one is done. So that one is done. Next one.